Oh, hey, Anna. Oh, why so sad? Well, I just bought this full sus to make me go faster, and actually, I don't think it makes me go any faster. What? Right. Here's how to get the most from your full suspension. That is awesome. I, I would th thought I'd be quicker on my full sus though. Oh. Well, no wonder you're no quicker. You're not taking the full sus lines. Right, you've got a full suspension now. Now you can straight line everything. Okay, maybe not everything. Don't be straight lining corners. That's just bad trail etiquette. But on a section like this, don't follow the contours where everyone else has gone. Don't take the easy path. Take the slightly harder path. This is just a little rocky step down. Your full suspension can handle this. So why not try doing it? You could save two or three seconds here. And that's how you get faster on a full sus. Oh, 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 it's rocky. Oh, oh, that feels rough. Right, that's gonna feel rubbish if you use your brakes on a rough descent like that. Basically, when you apply the brakes, especially the back brake, you're gonna stop your wheels, obviously. But with the rear wheel, when you stop that, you stop your drivetrain, your cassette from moving, and with your weight on the pedals, that means you might actually lock up your rear suspension. So it's gonna feel like a hardtail. You've just bought a full suspension. You want it to feel nice and plush. So what you need to do is be more considerate with your braking. Think about letting off the brakes on everything rough and apply the brakes on everything smooth. Now that could be on the start and the exit, or it could be on tiny little smooth sections in the descent. Just, oh no, 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 save my, save my rims. Walk through there, do a run though. Still quick, surely. Don't walk it, plow it! You've got a full suspension bike now. These things are designed to track the ground. You've got two shocks that will allow the wheels to move independently, avoiding or softening impacts from the trails. So that means you can plow through things. And if you're coming from a hardtail background where you're used to looking at the shape of the terrain, now you can blanket over that and just look at the shape of the trail, set up for corners, and don't be worried so much about that rough stuff coming into them. Anna, Anna, Anna. This is the perfect opportunity to pump your bike. And on a full sus, it's really easy because all you have to do is compress the suspension, dig your heels in, and the energy that it releases will gain you speed. And you can even do it on rough terrain like this and make up seconds. And this action of compressing the suspension can be used in every little bump and imperfection and dried out puddle on the trail because it'll gain you tiny bits of speed in every single bit. <sighs> this bike is awesome, Anna, but you know what? The suspension just keeps kicking me in the back. I'm not sure I like it. Huh, sounds like your shocks aren't balanced. Look, it goes without saying that you need to set up your suspension properly, but I think the worst thing you can do is have two shocks that are completely unbalanced. Imagine if one rebounds faster than the other, you're gonna feel completely out of whack, more so than if you just had two badly set up shocks that compress and rebound at the same rate. So do make sure you play with those dials and get it perfect. So pick your lines like a full sus rider, pump that bike, like a full sus rider, and you'll be gaining time and smashing those PBs, guaranteed. So have fun out there, and hopefully you get the most out of your full susser. Like and subscribe.